There's a pretty good virgin voyage going on right here right now, I'll tell you. Maine has a sales tax. I don't want to pay the extra percentage on it. I'm not looking for anything purdy at all. I mean, I'm just going to bury it in the back somewhere, and nobody's ever going to see it unless the sh** hits the fan. The worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1987. We're now down 43%. This could be the most serious recession in decades. Protect your retirement with a gold and silver IRA. Learn more at sdbullion.com slash IRA. You know, if we're going to scrap these, you mind taking it out of here? Are you, I mean, what I'm looking to do is to... Let me take what it's worth. I'll be spending everything here, probably, most likely. I'm going to try to get some rounds or some maple leaves or something. And something recognizable that... Okay, so these are going to net you around $80. Okay? That's fine. I'll take it. And... Um, if... But if I, I got... You got more stuff. I've got a lot of stuff okay. that I... Let's take a look. The, the, yeah, right. What, uh, what are those? The, it's a 20th Libertad mm -hmm. gold and a 10th Libertad of silver. Oh, very nice. A lot of this stuff I haven't researched. I don't know. That's genuine. That is made by the U.S. Mint. Um, that's fine. Oh, that's pretty. And I believe that thing is 500 silver. Right, let me... 78. Oh, now, would this be something that you would scrap for, for melt? Um... Ultimately, it would probably be scrap. And, wow. and, you know, the alternative is trying to sell it on eBay. You get a um, <laughs> I don't care. No, do you, do you see the challenge, though, with buying semi-numismatics and holding on to them for a long time? Absolutely. It can turn into scrap. Absolutely. The issue price of this thing was uh, $4.50. Okay. So. In 78. 78, yeah. So the case is worth more than that now. <laughs> yeah, the keys. Yeah. Right. Can you flip Absolutely. that for me? Oh, that's funny. If he flips it, it always comes up heads. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what they did was they um, scooped out this one, the one on the bottom, scooped that out, and then uh, put these on a lathe so this would fit right in there. So it's two coins. Okay. Um, Interesting they would actually use a silver coin for that. Cause they, right, because I use, did test it. It was silver. It is silver, but they had to use two coins to make it. It <laughs> seems like a waste of somebody's time and money. And this is a sample, which is worth a dollar. <laughs> I've never seen anything that said sample on it. First I president. really odd. Yeah, George Washington's sample. You know, so when we just picked that up a bag. Why would you send that out to get graded? Um, it was probably done by a, a, a late night cable TV coin show. Um, where's it going? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is what it is, right? The reverse and the obverse. Yeah. Um, surprise, but it's, um, They have it listed here in fine condition at uh, $4, in very fine condition at $8, in extremely fine condition at $20. I don't know. It might be a, a good eBay item. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Interesting packaging there. Yeah, where are these made? First edition proof set. I wonder who made them. I don't see any monograms or anything. 37. All right, I'll so. do that if you're okay with that. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. 
it's all going to go into a bin with, uh, you know, huh? forks and knives and spoons and stuff. Wow. I, I bet the person who bought that commemorative didn't think that it would eventually go into a bin with forks, spoons, and knives. Wow. Uh, the people who had the, who paid the money for the forks, spoons, and knives and uh, hollowware, you know, bowls and plates also didn't expect that. Wow. But there is no other solution. <clears throat> in 2011, I get to go to, to the refinery and see the operation. And mm -hmm. uh, I said, is this, this all sterling silver? He said, yeah, when this is over, there won't be a tea set left in America. <laughs> <laughs> and people aren't buying them anymore. Ooh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> another delivery. What's up, buddy? <laughs> so you're getting some heavy ones coming. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No problem. It. Box of Maple Leafs, box of uh, American Eagles, uh, box of Buffaloes, and um, what's the other one I ordered? Oh, Britannias. Ooh, Britannias. Yeah. You know this monster box here? Yeah. I bet it's gone before the weekend. Oh, we bought on a, going around the weekend. Jesus, this is heavy. It must be Britannia's. Wow. Well, maybe that's Maple Leafs. You so think you, that... you want to open that box? Yeah, the Eagles? Yeah, you you usually come in here and open the boxes. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. I can't find my glasses. Very cool. He's got the Eagles. And what is this box? Tim, what... What, what is this box? Which one? The, the, this tunnel. Of... All stuff that I bought. Hey, Tim. Um, you have one of those. It's wow. hard to believe that they, and it's the premium that and came the down. And the Napoleon That's round. what they made. Huh? I you don't have the Napoleon? <clears throat> S.D. Bullion uh, worked with yeah. Scottsdale Mint to get that out. That was a year ago in April. Wow. Um, $45 a piece. Very cool. There's a whole series. Uh, uh, Patton's. Yeah, Patton's next. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's really cool. I got to get some uh, bulges over here. Thanks, Lip. Man. Uh, well, if you're interested in some, some fun there. silver that Tim just picked up, check out the all the information, his phone number and address, in the description of the video below. That is really cool, Tim. Oh, wow. Oh, that one's cool. Yeah, that's uh, the George. Is that in uh, America the Beautiful? Yeah, it is. I think so. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that that's a good choice. First time stacking, first time buying, first time meeting you, first time meeting Tim. That's awesome. first today. Where, where are you from? Maine. Maine? You came all the way down here to see Tim from Maine? Yes, I did. Hope to be doing it again sometime soon, too. It was all your fault. <laughs> Yankee Stacker on YouTube convinced me that I'm not going to buy it locally up there. Maine has a sales tax. I don't want to pay the extra percentage on it. That's a trek. Did you run the numbers on this? Uh, no. No. It's 250 miles from my door to here. And even at that distance, being up in north central, uh, the five and a half percent sales tax would be substantial on what I'm hoping to walk out of here with today. So without, without crunching the numbers, just looking in my foggy head tells me that it's well worth it. Yes. Why are you stacking? Uh, wealth preservation. And that's all of it right there. As far as the, the continental uh, constitutional money, that's for uh, just in case I will have a backup. So what what are you getting here? These uh, I'm getting ooh, two hundred in constitutional, two hundred face value. Wow! Now I have no problem with you getting quarters, but uh, you, you, yeah, stealing you, you, your dimes, stealing your dimes. I got halves coming too. Wow! So you just constitutional today? No, uh, and an ounce of gold, or, and or at least one, maybe two. Maybe two ounces of gold. Maybe. We'll yeah. see. Will this be your first gold as well? Yes. Yes. First silver? First gold? First silver, first gold. The only silver that I have right now is coins that my dad 
had taken out of his business over the years back in the 60s, 70s, until, of course, Silva went away. Any desire for rounds of bars? or uh, No desire for rounds per se. It's like I told Tim when we talked the first time, I don't care what this looks like. I want metal, and I want as low a premium as I can get. So if, if it comes to gold, I don't care if it's round or flat. If it says 999 on it, and it, it's obviously gold, I'm happy with it. Okay, so you do know that this doesn't say 90%, doesn't say silver. Does that matter? recognized as U.S. currency, and anybody who knows anything about U.S. currency knows that that's 90% because you can't see the copper in the side of it. And those that don't? under an SHTF scenario, we'll become educated real soon, do you right, think, right? Right, absolutely, absolutely. You got it. <laughs> hey, Tim, how you doing? Uh, not too bad. How about yourself? Making any money while you're running the store today? I'm not running the store right now. This, this new counter is very precise, but it's kind of slow. Okay. <laughs> so we just had to count out some uh, 90%. And, uh, All right, now for the gold. This is exciting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very exciting. I Pretty have a buffalo. That, Pretty don't help me. Uh, that I'm selling actually for a better price. Because it looks like when they put it in a tube, so they drop another coin on it. You don't Legion. mind if it's all dinged up, scratched? Not and... at all. I don't care. I'm, I'm not a collector. Exactly. You no. got it, my friend. Yep. No. It's like milk spotted silver. I don't care. I just, I, I'm not, I'm not looking for anything purdy at all. I mean, I'm just gonna bury it in the back somewhere oh, yeah. and nobody's ever going to yeah. see it unless the sh hits the fan because you don't care much about yeah. selling it back for more fiat currency do you i do not i plan on holding it until i have to let it go for whatever reason it might be i mean I've, i bought myself an old pickup truck that's 27 years old right now that i expect to have Long after I don't need it anymore, I got a little Jeep to get around in. I've got a couple of boats. I can't ask for any more than what I've already got, so mm -hmm. I don't have a real use for fiat currency other than local around town. Did you see the uh, video that's really trending about uh, Tim's struggles with the bank, TV yes. bank? Did you see that one? I saw both of those videos. You did a live cast, and then you did the one just the other day. I watched them both, and my only comment to that whole thing is that, A, it's ridiculous. B, I can't believe they charge him to take money into a bank. And C, I think the greatest idea I heard of all those videos was the fellow that mentioned that maybe Tim should pump up that account and then when he gets the check, just walk over to the nearest teller and say, here, would you cash this for me? So you have a question? On your guardhouse box for halves, mm -hmm. did you, is it 50 tubes or 100 tubes? When I got the box, I started filling it up. I'm like, wait a minute, this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time, right? Yeah. yeah. So there's four by seven, so a total of 28 in the uh, barter box or guardhouse box. I have links in the description of all my videos for all the different uh, capsules, tubes, and things that I use, as well as the equipment I use and everything. So some really helpful links in the description if you're interested in what I actually use and buy. Yep. I, have you got another piece of scrap gold bouncing around? Scrap I think I gold. got enough cash to buy one more besides that. Scrap gold. Um, yeah, this would probably be the best bet. It's... Okay. I can never see Whatever anything. you want to part I'm with. I was looking me. for my, my piece. <laughs> Whatever you're willing to let go. So why the deal on that uh, gold maple there, Tim? Yeah, it's a 1982. Okay. That was uh, three nines. Oh, three nines. Yeah. Okay. I have one with some subtle red spots, and when after Yankee makes a video on how to remove them, <laughs> send it to him. There, there are ways to remove the red marks yeah. from gold, right? It's actually pretty new, too. Tim, there are? There are, yeah. yeah. I have been looking into your pinger thing, but I haven't bought one. Okay. And I trust him well enough that I'm sure when I'm walking out the door here, I've got what he said I had. That's good. That's very, very good. 
As a stacker, though, you need to get one of those pingers. They're yeah. not expensive at all. And then, once you really start building that stack, get yourself one of these. That one's good. Okay. <laughs> that one's good. All righty. And what about this one? Do you think this is good? <laughs> That's good. That's good, too. Look at that. All right. All right. There we go. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. In an envelope? Uh, Let me give you some. I'll put those right in the pocket. I don't mind. That's just camouflage anyway. It says tool right on it. <laughs> one more thing of you. Sure. You scratch your Jan Henry across the somewhere, I'll be off. Should I do it right across Yankee? Right across the top of his, sure. I don't care. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Tim, thank you very much, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yankee, and nice meeting you, too. Nice to yes. meet you. Yes. <laughs> $90 face uh, constitutional quarters. We got that. Quarters. Yeah. $90 face. Okay. Go with the quarters. Just the bag like you uh, gave him. Be good. Have you been to uh, Tim's before? Yeah, well, uh, this is my third or fourth time. Yesterday, I got three rolls. I have a little gift for you. Here's some stacker soap. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> there's a stacker soap? So there's a gram. <laughs> oh, hold on. That is so cool. I got something from my silver journey. Someone in our community, I want to hand this to you. A sticker. Uh -huh. First of all, actually a magnetic one. I think he wants you to put it on your safe along with the stacking surfer. What do you think? Sure. All right. Nice looking sticker. <laughs> Not as boring as those other ones. What, like, oh man. Very cool. All right. If you're interested in getting a, your own channel sticker up on Tim's safe, send it off to uh, him or me. No, my, mine's, a, my, mine's a sticker. What a cheap sticker. No, one. come on. Hey, Yankee, have you uh, seen the meteorite? The what? The meteorite. There's... Yes, <laughs> it certainly is. It's right there. It's even labeled. That would be less. If you've oh, been here. my word. You've come here, what, a couple hundred times? <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's been there a while, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never noticed that. <laughs> it is. It's a meteorite. I wonder if it's legit. <laughs> we could put it on the verifier. <laughs> <laughs> you just said it's not. Don't get, don't get excited. <laughs>